Hi hey everybody, how you doing? AmpRepairGuy.com 203-892-4119 So, today we're going to make the, well this morning we're going to make the uh, plate choke, and then I have a bunch of other work to do. And I'm also going to install the, the plate choke and the, the caps below the plate choke. So, I constructed just like Henry Radio did in their RF generators and in their, their ham amps and other manufacturers, so you know, it's good design, so I do the same thing. I've been doing it for years. I've made a lot of these. So the the specs for this frequency, for this particular choke, are coming from my friend in Canada. I already knew the gauge wire to use, so um, I'll explain how I make a plate choke. So I end up drilling and tapping the hole for the bottom, and uh, I go with a quarter by 28 size, uh, you know, thread. Hole, you know, threaded hole for a nylon bolt. I'll explain that later on why I use that. I drill and tap, you know, a hole here and a hole here, you know, for the screw to go through, and I countersink the head of the screw into the Teflon. I put a washer, split washer, and a nut, and this is my solder connection point. I'll put one up here, wind it, and uh, this will be mounted to the copper. I'll have a connection coming out from the center point which will be soldered and it will connect here so that keeps the RF current equal uh, among the four caps. Uh, this will actually, this connection point will be uh, almost flush with my connection point on the side of the tube. And the reason why I go with a nylon bolt is so I'm not bringing ground potential close to the horizontal screw here. Okay. I've seen people use metal ones, and that's a bad idea. So, you know, normally this would be mounted to the chassis, and you know, I don't want to, you know, bring them close to each other. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will be back when it's all done. See you soon. Okay, so the plate choke has been finished, drilled and tapped. Here's my screw, quarter uh, twenty. And we got the brass hardware going through, it's all soldered, and she is good to go. So I went ahead and drilled the holes for the caps. So here's one of them, brand new Heinergy Corp. Like I said before, the new ones are actually a little shorter, they're not as tall. So if you ever need a replacement and you have other ones in parallel, you're going to have a problem. You'll have to like shim them or something. So, um, I don't know if I have one right I can compare it to but anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and install those and install the plate choke and I'll uh, show you what it looks like here's the copper plate that I made so this goes on top joins them together all right I'll be back okay, just to show something really quick I use 10 screw and I use an eternal truth crush washer lock washer and as you can see there are the brand new energy caps. I mark the plate so I know which way, you know, because the holes won't line up perfectly in every direction if it's, you know, if it's a flipped so tube, capacitor side to side. So as you can see, the holes line up perfect. No need to notch them. Okay, so I'll be back. I've got the plate choke mounted to the plate here. That copper strip here is, is soldered to the actual plate. I put a thin layer of silicone on the, the uh, nylon bolt slash screw whatever uh, going up through it to keep it from backing out. I'll solder that in place once I make the the um, connection that goes between the plate choke and the uh, plate supply. It'll actually end up going to uh, some more uh, bypass caps after you know, before it relieves the RF deck to make sure the no RF makes its way down into the plate supply. So, go ahead and mount this to the doorknob caps and I'll show you what it looks like. So, I'll be back. Hey, voila, it has been installed. So, this will resonate well below six meters. So, the chimney slightly lower than 
the top of the radiator of the tube so the connection will go from here this I'll have a strap going around partially and it'll be held by a clamp but there'll be another strap soldered to that that comes over and it'll connect right there and then another uh, strap will uh, connect to the plate blockers which will be the uh, L portion of the L pi network so I am done with this for now I can't I have so many other amps to work on so that's done I just have to put the the uh, output network in the harmonic trap with the SFT 600 coax uh, the TR relay the output um, relays the RJTBs and the, the coax uh, feed through and you know between the input uh, RJ1A and the output and cap the ground or I might use a short piece of coax uh, you know the proper length add some capacitance so the feed through has to be as flat and uh, run the high voltage connection you know I'm not sure 100% sure what I'm going to use yet but the you know the plate supply line uh, from the panel to the plate choke and then the wall whatever so that's next and almost there but you know coming out nice so stay tuned and unfortunately sorry I apologize once again I have to get back to the other amplifier work I just have amps you know, piling up and a, another two were delivered today so I have to get back on those and I have parts to finish the three on my bench so I will be back if you need an amplifier repaired or a custom build like this feel free to give me a call uh, amprepairguy.com and uh, my phone number is 203-892-4119 Take care.